Imagine doing everything right during your dog's heat. Imagine going through two months of pregnancy and getting all the way to the point that your dog starts labor. Think about how exciting that would be. You get all the way to the point where your dog is about to pass a pup and then everything stops. That was me over a year ago. And this little girl right here came from that litter. There is plenty of information you can find online about natural births and C-sections for Frenchies to help arm you with all the information about what you should do. I spent hours looking over information, finding many people suggesting C-sections, as well as people having natural births, both by accident and by letting nature take its course. I've been breeding dogs for almost 20 years now, and I've always had dogs pass pups naturally. So of course that's what I was gonna do with my Frenchies, right? Stupid! I didn't factor in that the first 15 years of my breeding experience was exclusively with an entirely different breed. Frenchies are very, very different. My female was in labor for a few hours now and still hadn't passed a pup, but she did pass a sack a few hours into the process. I stayed up pretty much all night waiting to meet my new puppies. Early the next morning, I began to worry, so I called my vet and explained the situation. The vet informed me that based on everything I told her, that odds were the entire litter was dead at this point. I didn't accept that answer, so I called two more animal hospitals, only to hear the same thing from what was three different sources now. I was panicking, and at this point, my main concern was the mother and making sure she would live through what had to be an extremely painful labor. I packed up my dog, brought my incubator just in case, and headed over an hour up the highway to Double X Veterinarian Clinic almost in tears because I had already heard the puppies were dead and I was unsure if the mom would live through this process as well. But there was light at the end of the tunnel. The key to this entire thing was my vet seeing us unscheduled and getting us into the office to finally see what was going on within 30 minutes of arriving. Thank God for Dr. Amy Brent. She hooked up the ultrasound machine as my heart was in my foot. In what seemed like an eternity, she finally confirmed that she hears multiple heartbeats. I literally almost passed out from relief. She put my dog under and began the C-section process and informed me of what she had found. The first of five healthy puppies was stuck in the uterus and it was the smallest puppy in the entire litter. Even if that puppy would have somehow passed, there was zero chance that she could have passed the other four as they were simply bigger. I don't care what you've heard in the past or what you've read on the internet. It is all anecdotal. It's a great risk to allow your dog to have a natural birth, period. Here's why. For one, my dogs never locked up one single time. As you know, a female dog in heat will not let a male penetrate her if she's not ready. It doesn't matter what the male does, she knows her body and will not flag until she's ready. I got two progesterone tests to confirm her window, and although I got two separate AIs done at the vet, I still kept my male around my female during that window as I was certain she would flag and allow him to penetrate naturally. Boy, was I wrong. It never happened, and it was a long three days of her losing sleep trying to keep this relentless male off of her. This would have been a clear signal to almost anybody that this entire process would not happen naturally. Did I listen? Whatever, I do what no. I because the internet told me that it's possible for French Bulldogs to have natural births. The second reason that risking a natural birth is simply the breed you are dealing with. The physiology of French Bulldogs is just different than other breeds and they struggle with natural births. This is because of a genetic defect that is due to a developmental abnormality in the uterus, which makes it almost impossible to have a natural birth. I think we all know the investment we make both financially and emotionally with this particular breed of dog. Although you may read these stories of French Bulldogs giving birth naturally, these stories go without context. I consider anyone who witnessed their dog have a natural birth super lucky. For all my gamblers, I wouldn't even call it a crapshoot because the odds of you winning in craps is significantly higher than your Frenchie having a natural birth. All the puppies survived and the mother having no permanent health issues afterwards. Possible, yes. Probable, not so much. Should you go natural birth or C-section? 
Well, that answer lies in if you are willing to risk the lives of the entire litter as well as the mother. Although you can't plan for everything and the vet is not open 24 seven, it is highly irresponsible not to do everything in your power to schedule a proper C-section as well as have a backup plan if labor starts overnight or on the weekend. The number one mission of all breeders, no matter what animal, to improve the particular breed, and you can't do that by losing a litter because of negligence. Be proactive, be as prepared as you can, and schedule that C-section. Please subscribe and click on notifications and follow me through this journey of improving the French Bulldog breed. Thanks for watching.